It was previously known as Alale, aka Liu Jia. First, he first burst into the music scene in 2009 with his hit song "Give Me Your Love." In 2014, he, is, um, he, he was signed to David O's music label, which was then HKN. And then Dennis Della Yola King is a Nigerian-born Ghanaian who is a multi who is multi-talented as he can rap, sing, and dance as well. His dual background gives him the ability to fuse different styles of culture into his music, which makes him versatile. He's got a new tune. Be be be. Be be be. Be be be. Yeah, we really can't say that. And we can't help but love it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to DMW's very own DK. Hey. Get him in. Get him in. What does that mean? That's my first question. Get him in. That's actually my mom's language. You know, my mom's oh, yeah? Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. She's everywhere from the Volta region of Ghana. Mm -hmm. And get him in means like when they permit you to enter. When you are permitted to enter somewhere. Mm -hmm. Like when you knock now and I mm -hmm. say get him in. Or you hear Come the beats. In and you, you are asked to go in, mm. like rap on the beat or sing. So that's what it means, or breakthrough. Mm. Hmm. That's yeah, what my so. head, though. My head, I might thought you were saying, because I was going to ask you when I, when we, uh, you got to the table, that why would you say something like, like every bit? Like, I was trying to be like an imbe or something. No, but the bear is just... <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, you know. baby, baby, baby. That's, yeah. that's my new song. Like, right. I just dropped a video. I actually dropped the song last year. And um, because of COVID and all that, and I had a problem with the video, I shot it in Ghana. Okay. So I had to wait for a while. So when I went back to Ghana, I shot it and got the video. Yeah, because that was released February 4th yeah. or something. It was very yeah. recently. All oh, right. So um, let's talk about, you know, transitioning from HKN to DMW. You know, you started the whole journey with David O. You know, the whole HKN. Hey, man, yeah. damn you, You're in that video, right? You're in that video. I was not in Damage Room. Okay, you're not in Damage Room, but you've been in a series of old videos, yeah. right? So you started that journey with them, and then to see DMW to where they have progressed. Now, what is that one lesson that you know that, man, I saw with this journey that you will keep you grounded as an artist yourself? Patience and realness. Mm. Explain. Why? Yeah, because it's, it's actually a very stressful, tiring, and long journey if you think about it and some people come they try and then they have to go because you know if you don't have the hearts for it you can't do it mm -hmm. and at the same time you know i've met wonderful people through mm -hmm. david shout out obio mm -hmm. you know the baddest the real mm -hmm. goats mm -hmm. the bearded goats that i know <laughs> and he's been wonderful as a friend as a brother and as a ceo mm -hmm. if you get what i mean and as a good leader too because he brought so many people under his umbrella and we can mention a couple and a lot that are doing very, very well, you know, mm. so... There was this time that it was said that you both had a disagreement on, um, you, yes, and... It was on me, it was on me and David, we never had a disagreement. Yes, but when it listed the hardest from HK and that were transitioning to DMW, your name wasn't involved. Yes, this is over two years, but you haven't really shed light on that incident, so we really want you to touch it. Okay, he didn't list... DK, yes, he part didn't, of the he artist didn't, He DMW. didn't list yeah. HK and artists getting into DMW. Mm. What actually happened with DMW was he had a deal with Sony, mm. which he had to use a new platform for to okay. sign the deal. So he needed a new record label. He was still the owner of HKN. Nothing mm. changed, it was still him. The disagreement was not between me and David. We never had a uh, disagreement. It was between someone else, which I don't want to bring up the name. Yeah. The person was not even part of the I family. I was the person part of your management. So. No, the person was not part of the management, part of the family. The person was just a mutual friend. Mm. You get So it was not anything serious. You know, All right. So okay, but you, you mentioned before with the first answer that, you know, it's not easy and everyone can stay in the journey for a long time. Yeah. But, you know, you've also been in the game for a long time. Yeah. Why would you say that is? Because... I mean, what, what do you think you have to give that you keep saying, I'm going to be in this industry, I'm going to keep staying here? Because you just said it's not easy. I have talent. And mm. you, from my songs, you can, you can tell. If, even myself, if I knew I didn't, I wouldn't be here. Do you mm. understand? So I know what I have, and I know what I'm trying to give, and I know what I've been giving. Okay, let, then let's talk about your music um, journey. For yeah. I mean, everybody knows you as DMW, that's great. But I want to know about you, even before then, like, from a young age, did you know What's that this is... Like yeah, that? did you know that this is what you wanted to always do? Did you go to music school? Did you learn this? Or was it just something that you just found yourself in? Like, what's your journey? Okay, me, uh, at a point, I wanted to do music. But my mom is this very, very... She's from, she, 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 she gave it to me in deeper life, if you understand. Oh, right? wow. wow. So, like, she's grounded <laughs> in Christ. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to hear any 
N word or cursing mm. or you know she's just very strict when it comes to God and how you live your life. Mm. And I thank God for that upbringing because it took me far. Mm. So at that point, I just said, man, this music. I know she won't agree, Joe. Let me just free it. So I had to go to school. So mm. I went to school, studied building technology, came out mm. as an engineer. Did you school student. in Nigeria or Ghana? I schooled in Ghana. Okay. You know, came out as an engineering student, did my national service in Ghana. Mm. And then she was like, okay, you've done very well. Like, now you could go on and do the music. I was like, okay, cool. So she's permitted me. Mm. So that's Get Him Here. That's mm. how I have this big tattoo. That's how let you It means a lot yeah. to me. To let you into the building. Yeah, mm. so for her to give me the go ahead, that was a big deal for me. And since then, me and David have been cool. She speaks to David all the time. They are friends too. She prays for all of us. You know, she's just there and she's doing what she has to do as a mother. Okay, so then this year, what are your plans for music? Like, what are you... Are you going to give us more? Bed. Yeah, which is good. We're still, we're still digesting that. Oh, that one, you, that, I don't even so. allow you guys to digest it because <laughs> I think I used to allow too much time for digestion. Mm. Yeah, I'm <laughs> not doing that. You know, okay. this year, uh, I have a couple of materials that are going to be coming out. I have, like, uh, a couple singles, three singles to release nice. with videos before my EP. When so it's going to be a busy year? year, yeah. Okay, so can you give us more about your singles? What are they? What 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 are they about? Do they have any features on them? I want to release three singles, just me. Okay. But the EP has features. You gonna give us names? I don't think I should drop names. Uh, uh, why? On <laughs> time, you don't from Ghana, Niger. Uh, okay, can, uh, yeah. what's the, what letter? At least one. Uh, mention one. At least one. Mm. Oh, I have. Kwesi Atta, do you know Kwesi Atta? Yeah, Kwesi Atta. Yeah, yeah, I have medical. Round up, Charlie. Now nah, you're going to start. Me. <laughs> <laughs> you have medical as well. Yeah, I have medical, I have uh, Mugis. Mugis. What about producers? Who are you working with, with producers? Uh, the next single I'm about to drop was produced by Phantom. Okay. Phantom and the Beats. Mm. It's called, right. uh, okay, let me just <laughs> no, It's go coming on, out soon, Sha, right. in videos. So I like the fact, like end of this month. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so I like the fact that you acknowledged yourself that you give too much room because I remember at some point I'll be banging to this DK song like, yo, DK is fire, man, DK is fire, man. Then you just sleep on us for a while and you're not dropping. What you think, what, what was causing that? Because, you know, I was speaking to someone who claims to know you very well. So, ah, DK gets very, you know, comfortable when he drops a song. DK, you know, he's just all about the money. He really doesn't oh, need boy. the money. He really doesn't need the money. He really doesn't need the money. Uh, really it's the not money. the case <laughs> that you don't need the music money, so you just do it for fun and you drop money once in a well, while and you're about to you know no it's not really the case it's not that we don't need the money we need the money yeah. you know in life you need money so anything you know that's the talent that god gave me i know it's giving money so why wouldn't i so what was causing the you know break delays, you know yeah. the delay yeah in giving things back pop back. up family matters come up you have to do a couple things before you know time has gone you know it's a lot of things, not anything in particular. Okay, give me five now that the music DK, is sorry, not... Okay. Okay. What yeah. is DK going to be doing differently in 2021, you know, to be consistent with the music industry? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Making music. <laughs> Dropping more songs. Please, I want Dropping to, more songs. Back to back. Yeah. You can't sleep on us this time, don't right? Don't worry. Yeah, I don't please, want I want you... I want to ask, because you're giving me vibes like you have your hands <laughs> in other things. Apart from music, is there something else you're doing? Yeah, I sell clothes should i put it that way okay. i have a website um if you want to pick up like where's like what i'm wearing is it for just you know, for i males? like fashion you know, so not for males alone girls to have bags mm -hmm. and you make them yourself i don't make them mm. all right so i'm curious what is an ideal studio session for dk what has to be there for the studio session to be fire? Food. Yeah, what? <laughs> Green food. What I, I was going to ask what type of food, actually. Yeah. Green mm. food. Great. And okay, what else? So avocados. That's you like. I don't like veggies. You don't like veggies, but green food. Avocados. Um, what else I don't know green? about avocados. Yeah, but yeah. it's green food. We already, the land is green. Those veggies. And yeah. money. <laughs> yes. And, you know, good instruments around if you know what i mean like the beat has to keep me going for do you me produce to to your stuff mm, no but i've added to some productions mm -hmm. like suggested a couple things that i wanted to hear so myself. do you have an a and r uh, you know like a team that you work with or yeah, just my, vibes what's your air i have my team but asa helps me with everything the plug okay, okay yeah, yeah i'm yeah. signed to him okay. but i have a team under that too to help me on my own personal stuff. Right. All right. So what's a day in the life of DK like? You know, when you get out of bed, what are the you know first ten things you do? Get out of bed, get some veggies. You know, go to the toilet. I sit on the toilet see like one hour. Mm -hmm. The lights oh, out, my phone. Mm -hmm. You know, and then um, listen to some music in the morning. 
Okay. Dance a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. I think you've counted. A, you've counted a few things. Um, <laughs> I, I, there's a rumor going around that DK people don't like to DMW people rather don't like to feature women. And I mean, except they for David. They, they, I think they're like the only ones for the female artists. How can they? Mm, not no, they're not the only ones with female artists. But <laughs> I want to know because you are also one of those people that don't work with women, and I don't know why that is. Are we going to see you? I work with a female producer now. Ah, mm -hmm. I'm, so, I'm not talking yeah, about female producers. I'm talking. You know, what I'm talking about like proper features with women. I don't know women in the industry. Like, is that yeah, just something? Ah, we can suggest like some four women I can work with. Two savage. Yeah, that that will just happen. Thames. Yes. Uh, Amari, what's her, her name? Yeah, it is Amari. Um, mm. Who else? Simi. Simi. Mm. Um, Tenny. <laughs> Tenny. 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 Uh. Okay. okay. All right, we're running out of time, but we want to quickly play like, okay. a game with you. You know, in the spirit okay. of Valentine, we'll be revealing our worst love or relationship secrets. So, yes, the first question is um, tell me about your worst date experience. This is for you. Let's start worst with date experience. Maybe we'll play this on Monday, but let's play mm. with it. Do you even date? Do you date? That's the first question. Your worst date experience. I date, you know? <laughs> Yeah, so what's your date. worst date experience? Tell us. Ah, the worst. I can't, um... ah. <laughs> you can't remember any. I, I, right, I see, I barely go on dates. Yeah. Mm. But okay. I date. Have yeah, you ever gone on a blind <laughs> date? And how did it go? What was a blind date? Do I have seen the person before? No, I'm you wouldn't have seen the person. person. You're just talking, talking on the phone. Yeah. You don't know what the person okay. looks like. Yeah, I've, done done, I've done that now. Okay, uh, how was it? Was Instagram, it? different Was it nice? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so. It was? Okay. Oh, have okay. you ever searched for love using a dating app? No. You've never joined Tinder before? Go for me. Is it not go for me? <laughs> have you ever fallen in love at first sight? Mm, yes. <laughs> you have? Yeah. Tell us about that. Who is she? Are you My single? Ex. No, I'm not. Okay. All right. My well, ex. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So have you ever expected more than you got from a date? What does that mean? Yes, so. Hmm? Yes, so. <laughs> what, what, but what I was still mean? thinking about that happening. It's not that. <laughs> oh <my> goodness, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> So you, got, you were thinking about it, but you got more. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. That's how we wrap up the show. Thank you very much. And yes, in Thank case you. you're wondering, you know, just tell the people where they can find you on social media. And of course, your new song. Tell them where they can find it and all Yeah, that. so you know what it is. Your boy DK Gedeme of DMW. If you want to find my new song, it's called Baby Bay. It's out. The video is on YouTube. Banging Baby Bay. B-E-B-E-B-E. B -E -B -E -B -E. So What's that's Baby Bay. Baby Bay. Don't talk too don't talk too much. Talk. All right, man. So we need to say no more as we will be wrapping up right now. I wish we had more time, but unfortunately, that is all we can take today. But thank you for watching. Join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episode, including this one, and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co anchor, Ifel Lua Omai, and of course, Quincy Jones, who had to step down due to social distancing, for keeping it jiggy and of course the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshuke. Enjoy the